Sawmill House uses large reclaimed concrete blocks, anchoring it to the landscape. The house demonstrates how Australia's growing hoard of latent building materials can be used in new and innovative ways. Located on the site of an old sawmill, Sawmill House is the result of a close connection between the client and the architect, brothers with a shared creative vision. They were walking around Baxter's when they literally tripped over a heap of these blocks. It was the moment everything fell into place, literally. The house is home to a young family of three who can now live comfortably and safely within the industrial zone. The architect and his brother, a builder and sculptural artist, work together on the construction with the project being slowly developed. This approach allowed for a departure from conventional solutions and an exploration of bespoke and efficient alternatives. Large sections of the roof and facade are mechanized. Entire glass walls can pivot. Patios were incorporated. Custom furniture, carpentry, and metalwork could be designed and fabricated on site in real time. Brass sheeting was used throughout the kitchen cabinetry for a rustic and natural look, which complements the hardwood floors made from recycled local trees. This same wood was also used to create high pendant lights, positioned throughout all the open living spaces. The birth of the architect's first child not only hurried the progress of the work, but also forced several design changes to make it more child-friendly.
270 recycled blocks, each weighing one ton, were used to form the perimeter walls. This house explores the possibility of positively leveraging the thousands of tons of concrete that go to waste every year in the construction industry. The house features a highly operable envelope that takes advantage of the local breeze, passively cooling it during the summer months with cross ventilation. In the colder months, solar incidence is maximized with the reversal of a 14-meter section of the roof that can open over the deck, allowing the sun to passively heat the dwelling for most of the year. The rough surfaces of untreated sawn timber reference the recent history of the site and over time will weather to a gray hue, establishing the building on the quarry's edge. Each of the blocks has a story a bridge, a walkway, a house, creating a patchwork of colors and textures across the facades. This texture integrates the building into the landscape and the layers of color mimic the sedimentary layers of earth still exposed from the site's previous activity as a gold mine before becoming the local sawmill.